you guys. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, my name is Tamara. This week's video is going to be a vlog style video, so I hope you enjoy it. We're out in the casita. Um, I still got this big dresser. Um, as you can see, I have done nothing. I did sell that other um, smaller dresser. I listed it for $250 and I had some really um, interested people, but it was just a little bit too big for their space. And so I lowered it to $225 and then the lady I sold it to ended up giving me $240 for it. So that's nice. So that's out of here. So I have room to work a little bit. So I got these wooden rings on Etsy. I will link the shop down below. I got them to make a bath or a bathroom, a kitchen towel holder with. And I got two sets, so four of them. And I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid oil wax on them to kind of seal them up a little bit. So let's do that real quick. So we need to let these dry for like 20 minutes and then wipe back the excess. But so this is the towel holder that I was gonna do a tutorial on tomorrow. It's kind of cute, huh? This was super easy. I got this cord at the thrift store. I think I thrifted it for like two bucks or something. And what I'm doing with it is it hold it hangs over my oven handle like this. And the towel goes through the rings, you know, like this. But can you guys see, like, I didn't treat these rings. And they're just really lackluster. I don't know. I just don't really care for it. Too much i wish i would have treated them i can always do this over that's not a big deal but um yeah i thought that was really cute i wanted to share that with you guys so yesterday or the day before we got a new hummingbird feeder in the mail and this is it i filled it up yesterday and just got it hung up in the afternoon it um it's dishwasher safe like all the parts of it you can put in the dishwasher it's this right here and I will link it for you guys. Um, I think my husband ordered it on Amazon, but I'm not really sure. But I liked that you could put it in the dishwasher. And yeah, the hummingbirds have actually been coming to it. We have quite a few up here that we've noticed. So we wanted to put something out for them. The one we had last year rusted out. So hopefully they will like this one. I want to show you guys what we got um, almost two weeks ago. Not quite two weeks, but it's kind of exciting and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys, so let's go take a look. We got chickens! We got six chickens. Anyway, this was like a dog run from... Hey, no. No. She's so skinny, she can just slip right through there. This was a dog run from an old owner. So that's why there's this dog door here in the casita. Uh, we're kind of finding more things out about this property. Somebody actually lived in the casita at one point in time. So I'll kind of show you. So this is the gate that was already here, right here. And then there's the house and here's a casita. So we're back in this little corner. Okay, so yesterday I stepped on a snake in my sandals back here. I screamed my head off, it was so ridiculous. Okay, so here's the dog door. So the dog used to like be in this fenced in area. We just reused what was already here for the chickens. Is this one right here had a run in with the dogs yesterday. She got out underneath the fence and I'm not gonna say the dogs attacked her. I think they were just curious, but she's looking a lot better today. Like she was pretty rumpled yesterday. I think she's like the pack leader or whatever you want to call it like she's highest on the pecking order and the most brave so she was on the other side of the fence whereas the other chickens were like uh no but so this is kind of their area oh look at this no 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 We're trying to figure out like what to do to keep this shut from the inside when we're in here because she can just squeeze through that itty bitty crack. She's so skinny. And she doesn't really do much to the chickens, but they don't really like her presence. So I am being very cautious of snakes. <laughs> I don't want to step on one again. That was terrifying. 
My husband got the coop already and this area all fenced off. He cut this door in the backside. So this is just a little shed that was already here on the backside of the casita. And she's picking up my shoelaces. And then these guys are like obsessed. <laughs> They stand here like all day and stare at the chickens. We just actually fenced this portion off. My husband did. He's done like all this. He did this like a few days ago because um, it's just easier to access the front of the coop for us and not have to worry about the dogs getting in if this is fenced off too. Otherwise the dogs were down in this little alleyway and there's like a hole in the side of the shed that they were like obsessively looking through. But okay. So this shed was here. It was just empty. We weren't using it. Oh, please leave my shoelaces alone. Sweet little girls. New little adventure for us. Learning some about chickens. They're actually really not that hard to have. I need to fill this up. Ooh, they pooped on their bowl. That's so gross. Okay. Look at these two. Ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. Leave the chickens alone. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. About this package from yesterday I ordered this last Friday and it was ready yesterday which was Wednesday which is awesome this is a stencil company called cutting edge stencils and I'm pretty sure that they custom cut their stencils to order I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I read that but I got two stencils I'm gonna be stenciling our floor so make sure you hit that notification bell for notifications and subscribe so you don't miss it because it's gonna be really good so, I got two of these really big stencils for our floor, and I'm really excited. They're called Santa Rosa, as you can see, and I think it's just a really pretty, subtle, simple Spanish design. And company after my own heart, they sent me free stencils. You should have seen my face when I opened this last night and I saw that there were free stencils. I was so excited. There's like six of them. They're just little ones, but I don't know that I'll use all of them, but that's pretty cool. So if you're new to my channel, then you're probably just learning that I'm obsessed with stencils. So anyway, we got a lot to do, so let's keep moving. Okay, so we're going to work on our kitchen towel holder real quick. It's not going to take very long because it's just one knot that I need to show you. You're going to cut four cords and you're going to cut them at 60 inches. 
Take your four cords and attach them to one of your rings using the lark's head knot or the reverse lark's head knot. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to pretty much just make square knots until we're done with our pattern. I will link a site with some really good tutorials on uh, the square knots, the site that I used. And so if you don't see everything I'm doing, you'll have that tutorial to watch. So you make kind of a, I'm, I'm starting from the left. Um, and you go over these two right next to your end cord and then under this one. And then you're gonna take this one and feed it under here and through this. So you have the top of your square knot and for my pattern I'm keeping it very loose and now you just go back and you do it in the opposite direction that you started on so you'll start on this side And then you'll do the same thing for the next four cords. So we're gonna start on the second row and for that row, you're just gonna take these two outer cords and toss them aside and these two, and you're gonna work only with these center ones and make one square knot. So this is all the longer I want mine. I've done three rows with two square knots and I've done two rows with one square knot. I'm gonna stop here. This took me about five minutes. And now we're gonna attach it to our bottom ring You want to make sure that your spacing is still consistent. I will link my other macrame video in the description. I attach the bottom of my cord to the bottom of a ring in that video in the exact same way. And so you can see a little bit better how I'm doing it. And so now you're just going to cut your fringe. I'm about ready to head into our local Salvation Army to do some thrifting. I hope you can't hear the car too much. I have the air conditioning on because I got a sweet treat at a local coffee shop in town. It's Route 66 and they have these awesome bagels. Now I try to avoid gluten as much as possible because I just kind of feel crappy after I eat it. But they have the best green chili cream cheese and so I got an everything bagel with that cream cheese and I actually did ask her today if they sold just the cream cheese and she said that they do normally in like eight ounce tubs but they're out of it today. Um, so maybe next time I'll just get like a tub of cream cheese and then gluten free bagels from the grocery store. But then I also got this drink, it's their coconut cream pie latte, it's so good. Um, but yeah, it's Route 66 coffee. And so we're going to go into the thrift store. I'm not going to promise a thrift haul at the end of this. My husband and I love, love, love thrifting, but we have a really small house. So we have to be, not a really small house, but we have a small house. So we have to be really careful. But if I find something that I absolutely love, I'll pick it up. Or if I have like a list of things that I need, I'll make sure I keep that with me so that I know what... To get so if I do find something I will definitely show you but first I'm going to enjoy this little treat that I have here which is actually my lunch and then we'll get inside.
Was I gone too long? Was it too long? I locked our only set of keys. Only set of keys inside the Honda Element. This is my husband's car. But the moonroof was open. <sighs> yeah, I got it unlocked. Okay, I'm not proud of locking the keys in the car. That was dumb but I'm proud that I was able to get it unlocked. Hashtag, I am my father's daughter. Okay, so I did find some things at the thrift store that were on my list, which is awesome. This is a really small haul, but it's awesome for me because I found what I was looking for. We had broken a couple of our wine glasses in the dishwasher and needed to replace them. Um, they're nice to have a set of four when you have company. And these were 50 cents a piece. They're pretty heavy duty. I actually think that they're nicer than what we have in the cupboard right now. And then I found this embroidery hoop for $2. Um, I'm doing a DIY project with embroidery hoops. And this is the biggest size that I need. Of course, I had my tape measure in my purse. So I grabbed it. It's a little chunkier than I kind of wanted it to be. But I think once the project is all pulled together, it'll be just fine. So that's what I got. Thanks for being here this week, you guys, and sticking it out until the end of the video. If you want to see what I end up doing with that dresser, then make sure you check back next week. I'll see you in the next one.